I have addressed lots of people during this total solar eclipse, which are coming up on, right? So I am tired, but I am uh, I'm a person that is like the Energizer Bunny. I keep going and going and going, and I have like stamina within me that could, in a in an ideal world, if I thought the guy was more in line with the teachings of Christ, host the Alex Jones show, work with Clyde Lewis. And host the Coast to Coast Dam show. Beyond those shows, there's not a lot of folks in the conspiracy theory genre that I respect. I don't like the direction Jones has gone in. But hypothetically, if he saw something in me, and there was something of mutual interest, and he was to repent of some of his actions, I'd consider some sort of, like, communication. But I don't think that I should pursue that route. And my mother wouldn't. Not that I really care strongly about her opinion but i'll take note of times in which she may be right and has been right so there's times in which she's very wrong very very wrong and other times in which she can be very very right that's the thing with some psychic abilities the crazy goes with the legit stuff same thing with me in some cases i can come across as really nuts and imbalanced but also be very legit and down to earth with certain things that i'm talking about recent videos have shown that if I was to just watch my old content, if I was to just sit back and watch my old content for hours and hours and hours, hundreds of predictions, really. But I don't try to do that. I don't try to be like Alex Jones or Jeff Rents and have tons of news going to different places because I don't. I'm more of a philosopher that is that has been helped by people in my life to survive. Who doesn't have his own home? Who doesn't have anything but his own car and he'd rather just have his own land and most people that you know that went off grid weren't forced to come back into the grid because of content they created to stand up for off gridders so disappointments with alex jones that you didn't come to my aid in costilla county colorado I'm sure you heard about it now you're supposedly criticizing israeli stuff is alex jones position himself to act like he's anti-genocide, alleged genocide, uh, slaughter, murder of innocent Palestinians, because that is being shown on Twitter, by the way. If Aaron E. wants to say those are deep fakes, I I'm open to hearing that argument. He's not currently making that argument. Okay, so he's saying that these deaths are happening, but they're justified. There's deaths of, of innocent men, women, and children being gunned down on Twitter. Anyway, you need to think a little bit more critically when you see people like resist the Palestinian thing. It is like people are being positioned for this great war for the sides. And we know the side that Russia is going to be on. So we know Ru Alex Jones's connection to Russia. So Russia with Hamas, Alex Jones, poking at what? Some Israeli rabbi. It fits into the narrative because there's a lot of craziness coming out of Israel. And Alex Jones has platformed David Duke and did the whole, not that I like Rob Jacobson, I'm sure he went along with that because he blocked me. He went along with the anti-Islamic thing or the Islamic invasion fake meme, Rob Jacobson. Rob Jacobson, not a victim. Rob Jacobson, though, wrote about his experience with Alex Jones. A lot of the people that work with Alex Jones, not a victim. The better are the people that used to work with Alex Jones, the Melissa and Aaron. And I've signed a confidentiality agreement to work with some bozo who wanted to be Alex Jones' competition. Then he threw my ass away. <laughs> I was thinking about showing you those videos. He, he took this piece of steel from his East Lone Star State, Texas State, like, property. And he's like, felt real manly. <laughs> Take it to that studio that he rented for 1900 a month. Because he made bank doing like other work. He's like, you're going to do videos here. He'll try to control what I do. What I say. And make me some anti-illegal immigrant puppet. Maybe he thought I looked brown, Hispanic. would be great. Pull into like, you know, because they, they, sometimes they get them, them black Latinos. And because of the corruption on the left, they offer a little bit of that steak money, that excuse the expletive, female body part money, 
gonna make that money baby gonna make that money baby people get bought by money so but that's not why I'm here that's not the path that I'm on I just see Alex and I as being I don't know how long this is gonna be on the internet or what I've done a lot of videos doing the exposed thing they're still up but that's not what this is I've had lots of dreams with him that are not war dreams, that are just dreams like we're friends, that startle me and bother me and make me think at times that it's Archon mind control. Because in the dream, the dream realm, we're friends and shit. But then there's things in the dreams that are shown to me which could be my subconscious. Am I not supposed to talk to you about my dreams? Well, if I just talk to you about my dreams, for I, I think it's okay. Well... It's like there are things shown to me in the dreams and I was like I was seeing or I could be seeing something in spirit to where they're not actually doing it but spirit showing me that in spirit they're having that agreement. So in spirit I'm seeing in the dream, Dave, if you will, David Icke and Alex Jones in a conspiracy against me in a room talking about me or being aware of my presence and making sure that I'm on the other side of the glass and it's them. And me being on the other side of the glass trying to get it. Knowing both of them and having the oddities of interviewing both of them on the same day. Seeing how they both came up. So I'm, I'm of the perception that we all have past life like baggage. Baggage, trauma, backstabbing, what you will, from some other reality or place. It's possible. And so there's that feud energy there. And there's that strong sensation that... The, the current, I'm not watching the current Alex, but from an energetic standpoint and hearing, like he, he's at least, if there's something super dark he's doing, I'm just not aware of anyone posting it, or I'm not telepathically, psychically picking up on it at present. At present. What I see is him playing into the populist role, well, like Alex Jones coming to be nice again. Alex Jones this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, he has his phases. And so if the Israel situation with a lot of people and Nazis that don't like Israel and what they're doing, there is some siding with the Palestinians and there are some racist Arabs. Now me, it's a gift, you know, pushing back against stuff that I have dealt with, okay, is not the same thing as saying that other people out there don't have their issues. There's actually like no real history at all even though i've tried of me having any friends with immigrants or refugees or muslims i got this thing though for the sufi realities channel because he talks about really what we talk about new world order jinn demon satan he talks about it he's got the turban but he's not a wife beater he's not forcing it down anybody's throat he praises the quote prophet muhammad but he does not do what Alex Jones says Muslims do. So, Alex, I don't know if you're watching, but the reason why I am disappointed still in you as a soul is because I think that you should know better or something. You talk like you should know better. You have a history of making videos, driving. Like, am I like the only guy in this Truman Show that remembers this? Driving a, a drill bit. Where'd you get that anyways? From your dad's dead <laughs> inside joke there. Hey, Alex Jones, I need some dental help. Can you help me? Can you fly me in for some dental help? Sorry, I just thought... I remember when I met Alex Jones in 2005. I was poor and stuff. I asked Alex Jones if he flipped me some DVDs. You know what he told me? Go talk to Bob Daisy. Bob Daisy. I'm sorry I left all my tapes for my trip to Austin. It's some jerk off house in Estacada, Oregon, but my stuff's gone, man. I never heard from the people again. Alex Jones, did any of our mutual viewers ever email you my content, and are they going to email you this tonight? Is anybody out there going to email this to InfoWars? Alex Ansari has a heart-to-heart -heart with Alex Jones after a full day of videos during the eclipse. Alex, I don't know what you're saying about the eclipse, man. 
Okay, but it's possible there's parallels in what we're saying. But no, not if you're going on Russia TV. Are they using you or are you a tool? Are you an unwitting tool? Have you been duped unknowingly? Is my mom right about you? That it's just mind control and you're not really Darth Vader. I just don't know. But I've tagged you on Twitter. Not once, not twice, but one, two, three, four, five o'clock, six o'clock, quite a few times. You're busy. You're probably not even running the Twitter. I know. But Clyde's running his. And Clyde responded to me. And Clyde syndicated around the nation. And you're not. I know I can get to George Norrie. I know I can talk to others if I wanted to. I know I've tried to get to Stallone. And trying to go through Facebook, bro, is just not probably the ultimate way. I need my own agent. Hey, Gunner, I heard you got a connection to Hollywood, according to Aaron. How about helping me get into the movie scene so I can truth Hollywood and shit? Why should it just be Alex Jones and shit? You know, when I went to San Diego, California, what I really wanted to do was hang around for a while and get involved in modeling, working out in a May, doing California man shit. You know what I mean? I deserve that. I want to be at the beach. Not for an hour, San Diego style. I got to get back to my topic. Here's the truth. The Alex Hansry that went down to meet Alex Jones was like a um, star struck, like partial retard or something that confused like Infowars from a site other than like, first of all, I don't know how I made that mistake. Other than, this is why I believe that crazy-ass shit about us being zapped by entities. When I watched that interview tape and I saw me slip with a few questions with Alex, was that me being shy or what? I could have done a better job. I don't think I really impressed him with that. I was in my first six months. There was a starstruck thing I had going on. But I know if given the chance, you know, I want to win people's respect even if I don't like what they've had to say. I just demonstrated the other day that I can put on I can put on the Terror Storm DVD and talk about my origins in the conspiracy theory movement and what Alex Jones did for me on Access TV and I've told the story countless times. But what has it done for me to earn Alex's respect? All I've ever believed for years since he did the whole Islamic, yeah, look at me, bro. Look at me. I got my hat off. You think I like the fact that I was born? When you did that whole, no, let me just look at thick and balding to you. Screw it. Look at it. Look at the imperfections of this body. This body that no woman can love. Not even my mom. Dude, it's fucked, man. And when my mom said to me in person that you got credit, you don't understand, bro. I fought with my mom over you. I don't know who's watching this that used to bother me three months ago about you and Trump, but I think Alex Jones should hear from you tonight. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to send it out. I'm going to let you decide whether you're going to send this to Alex Jones. Okay, and maybe it'll get to him, and then maybe God's going to intervene and say, bro, don't do that. But Alex, I did want to work with you for a lot of years to warn about what's coming with China and Russia. And you knew better than to do what you did in 2014 and 2015. So I don't personally view you as a good person, nor the people that listen to you, but people that are part of why it was homeless. You and Trump and Next News Network and people that work for the Next News Network. Alex, I don't have time to tell you. You don't have time to sit through a long ass video about my life story. But you got to at least read the cliff notes over at my Substack. But a guy that worked for Gary Franchi was telling me that I should go up and start some shit with you. And I told him, like, kiss off. Just because I make critical videos why I don't listen to your content anymore doesn't mean that he needs to call me a little twerk because I don't want to be confrontational. Now, when I verbalize that I can take you in one minute, I'm not being threatening. I'm not threatening you. I'm making a fact. I'm just stating a fact. 
And when this Muslim guy with Arabic letters reposted that video, I was not thinking that he was on my side at all. He may have thought he was, but what I'm thinking is, bro, you don't put like foreign letters and shit on like a Muslim channel and then put Alex Hansery on it like screaming at Alex Jones. No wonder I had 35 dislikes. So Mr. Jones, I need you to know something. More than a few of you need to be saying this, including the dude, if you're still listening, from California, who's going to move off of grid and live happily ever after with your life, wife, get you never covered shit like me and Alex Jones in your life. That's why you have a pass. Those of us, I don't know about Jones, I don't see him as really attacked by the system. People like me have been homeless, Alex Jones. And the people in Portland, Oregon that you attacked, yeah, we need to talk about Clyde Lewis. You're friends with Clyde Lewis, but he said you were trash, man. When you put me on Prison Planet, or your staff did in 2010 when I confronted... You do know that, right? That I confronted Black Bloc and Tifa before Joey Gibson, before Tony Tootsie. You promoted Tony Tootsie. He's on his way to the joint. You run a big line about the system till the system comes for you. Why, bro? What was up with that? This is not screaming at Alex Jones. This is not groveling Alex Jones. These are questions. How do you go from police state four? I don't want to bring it up. I don't want to bring it up. I don't I don't want to bring it up. How do you go from that? Police state four. Oh my god, Jason Burmis, get out of there. Mayday, mayday, mayday to the Trump thing in a matter of like years. Like that's not normal, bro. I'm not buying the mental illness argument, but we're all a little fucked from being in this world. You're you're screwy as a as fuck. But so am I. So I've talked to Clyde tonight, and I'm like, Psh, you're on mute. You, you say I have a heart on for you? Seriously, why are we not all having coffee and tea or something? Do you have any other Afghani amongst you to add in? I told you, Alex, and the audience, because I was scared for years. My dad's worked alongside military forces. He's not pro-Taliban. He's anti-Taliban. He's anti-Obama, now at least. But me and him are not pro-Trump. This whole band, the Muslims thing, had no roots in Christianity. But I don't hear you saying that now. But I'm not assuming that you've changed. And it's possible this video will be private in a few months' time. If I start seeing really crazy behavior from you. But I really want to step back from that negative behavior that your programming and your audience members influenced to me, ones that I previously thought were my best friends, influenced me too. Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. You posted somebody, somebody ended up on your website that did a lot of damage to me and cyber attacked me when I was on the line and psychically attacked me. And it led me to think that like you were aware of what he did to me and you were giving him like a leg up. And that was a pretty psychotic time on the earth. Do you remember that time? It was the spring of 2019 leading into the summer. And it was attacking homeless. You don't want to do that, especially if you're an off-gridder. Because off-grid living is a solution to homelessness. And I fought for off-gridders, Alex Jones. I fought for white off-gridders. So you're looking at a person of a unique heritage that will fight for... So Alex, somebody get this, Alex. Alex, I'm writing a book. You wrote a book. I'm writing a book. What do you think my book's about? There is going to be a book about my life, yes. And there'll be... There's two books about solar flares. But specifically, I'm going to have chapters maybe within the autobiography or maybe an addendum about what I think about the truth movement, why it's run by Satan. And to me, it's like a mafia hierarchy chart. And maybe that's why, like, making these videos even right now is dangerous. But fuck it. Balls to the wall. I am creating, in a way, the Mafia chart. And there is, like, a level of, like, demonic attack that comes at you when you're born a gifted boy. And man, with a bullshit detector. People don't know what to make out of it. They, they don't think that it's normal. When the eclipse thing came, I knew it was about the sacrifice energy. When one one twenty four came, I knew it was right in between the eclipses when they struck Yemen. And now they have the Houthi situation. I knew 12 hours before 
the Moscow event that there be some sort of a false flag. Not specifically then, but I would consider it synchronicity that I ended up on coast to coast right as that was happening and that I contacted coast to coast because I have a psychic connection to the sun, which I told Lisa. I don't get the feeling that Lisa and the staff there like me much and I am no brown noser. The guy that you met, the guy that's dead now, I'm now the clone, just kidding. You might want to check my fingerprints. Some of you might really be wondering, like, what? did they really get replace Alex? I haven't heard any of you speculate that, but fuck, let's start the conspiracies. Anybody know where Freeman is? Yo, Freeman, bro, they didn't just clone Obama. Bro, that's weird. When you're at a strip club, because you got to go to a strip club to get a woman to look you in the eyes, because the conspiracy women will look down on you for not looking up to Alex Jones and the other people. Ah... Uh, there was way more of that P-U-S-S-Y, though, when I was pro-Jones. So there were some women that were wet for me and Jones, but Jones wasn't accessible. But here's answering. Well, fuck, man. Next best thing. Oh, shit, that was better than I thought. See you next week. Yeah, until I put my foot down. See, even if someone's, like, loving and sucking and doing a, like, lo lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, doesn't mean they love you. Doesn't mean they're going to let you assert yourself. Doesn't mean they're not going to talk smack about you and call you a, a boy toy. Let me tell you something, boy. I think Alex Jones can learn a thing or two about hitting the heavy bag from Alex Ansari. How about, how about, how about Alex Ansari prove to Alex Jones that Owen... We'll have to work really hard, in fact, to take care of shorter, sawed-off shotgun. Dynamite hit. Alex answering. I also have speculated that I know the A-Man from a past life, and maybe even the A-Man knows Alex Jones, knows me, and I always thought what would be cool is to get all of us together for Chinese food. That would be awesome. Clyde Lewis, George Norrie, A-Man, Alex Ansari. Alex Jones, David Icke, and Paul Jenkins in Las Vegas. Passio would just be like the ultimate buzzkill. He would be sitting there drinking like... <sighs> the world! The world! <sighs> oh, I'm going to kick your ass. The world is falling apart, and you people are drinking. I can't take this shit anymore. I have to drink. Folks, I've seen that dude. I've hung out with that dude in his house. Like, I'm like, God's testing us, bro, in my YouTube video when I'm out in the desert. I'm in, like, Pascio's house. He's like, if this is a test... Man, God is just a jerk, man. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> whatever you say, bro. It's your house. And I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you, meeting David Diamond from Up and Heaven Ranch was not awesome. If I could turn back time. David, buddy, we should have just done some Molly and worked it out. You probably didn't have the connections. I would have totally done Molly with you. In Bogosa Springs and Rex, but honestly, that dude looks retarded to me. Did I not see him at the grocery store in Bogosa Springs? Bogosa Springs? Bogosa Springs giving me that. Oh, no, listen. Alex Jones. Somebody get this to Alex Jones. Somebody get this. Alex Jones. Who do you know who is not white, who lived in an all Trump, Punisher logo, QAnon? Ugh, off-grid neighborhood, Archer County County, Bogosa Springs. Me, bro, me, me, without a gun, right? Um, Nirvana said it best. And for a long time, you know, I survived off the basics without family, without my father talking to me, 
knowing that you whites and blacks, you whites and blacks, man, I tell you. You whites and blacks care for each other. One million. Times more than my dad's family loves me. You, the Patriot Movement, were the only people to ever talk to me, even if you trolled me. You, the Patriot Movement, you white people, were the only people to donate to me. But it doesn't make the feeling of sickness go away with what we're facing right now and what I've been through. Because your money and your likes is not healing the isolation. And I don't think God is happy with you for what you've done to me. Because even though you're the only ones that were there for me, you're also the ones that made me feel sick. And it's because of that evil that I shot up dope again in 2009 because of your world. Because I gave your world everything and your world threw my ass away white supremacy in portland oregon threw me away not only does white supremacy it exists white supremacy can be seen in extreme forms on the left if you want to push back against portland and left-wing hypocrisy, then maybe you should call me. Now, if, if Alex Jones has evolved and he has repented, I would like to know him. And I will rise above my fear of them. Them that might be around him. Because the cat's already out of the bag. I've already met him. I've already interviewed him. I've already criticized him. And I've already made attempts to create peace with him. And I've already made my peace with God. And I've already asked God to see me through the other side if my community is destroyed or nuked by Russia there's a point in time in which if Alex Jones has any good in him he will repent of his actions and he may go down as a villain if he say has Possibly got himself involved in something that's bigger than him, that he's not the mastermind of. Maybe even a situation in which he's a pawn, and he doesn't know he's a pawn. And he is under mind control, but he doesn't know it yet, because he has yes men around him. Because, because of things we don't understand and are not authorized to really speak of because we weren't there. 
but all of us have these histories with family and people and from what I gathered and I'm not getting into his business but you know damn it why do I keep dropping this stuff sugar night folks it's good for your computer and this is also EMF proof hat I don't see Alex's ex-wife as totally innocent either but not totally guilty either um, and I've noticed aspects of her story which is clearly hypocritical to get kudos with the left she did the oh that 9-11 thing that's the least of Alex's sins that's what made him good and that's what I wanted my mom to like about him what do you think the A-man thought when I showed him the 9-11 tape. He liked it. He didn't attack it. Maybe he was just being nice. Then I gave him David Icke's The Truth Will Set You Free, and he read that too. Then, you know, and he can read like in a day, a whole book. Then I gave him The Grand Deception by a guy who delivered babies with Ron Paul. And the wife was in contact with Alex White, but she didn't want to talk to me directly, but an Alex White, take no offense, but an Alex white the woke movement attack on white people is creating white supremacy alex jones should team up with alex Ansari to talk about the real racism that does exist and nazism which he allegedly was against in the beginning to protect white people from black and other thugs let's let's expose aspects of radical Islam and weaponized part, but not blame all Muslims. If you are willing to talk to Clyde Lewis, who I have on tape, saying he's doing some in time show in 2012, 2013, and he's quoting various texts, including the, including the, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Including the Quran. So, I'm tired of this, oh, get ready to be offended, oh, I privilege, in the conspiracy world. What is that? White privilege and they can whoa way to fuck with words Alex Alex what are you doing white privilege in the conspiracy genre what the fuck is he doing AI, AI will make sure that never becomes clickbait but in a conscious planet B reality it would yeah what is white privilege and conspiracy theory movement well it means a number of things not being shadow banned not having an AI program go oh you look like a dirty muzzy ah you get the negative buddy I know the YouTube algorithm, Alex Jones, where you at? I know the truth. I know they got some Hindus running shit, bro, that are psychopaths that hate and kill Muslims. And your buddy Musk seems to be inciting, I'm jumping around, your buddy Musk seems to be inciting the Islamic world by showing Muslims getting killed and shit by Hindus. You know it's going to incite them. That's why there's filters in place, man. And there's videos from crazy clips on YouTube which shows these violent beat towns. In some cases, in some cases that are years old, but due to <clears throat> solar players, people will also watch more violent videos when the sun is more active because their brainwave and hormonal changes, like. Alex Jones could learn a lot from Alex Ansari in the same way that Alex Ansari learned a lot from the A-Man, but now the A-Man is learning some things from Alex, and Alex wants to keep learning from the A-Man, but the A-Man's like, bro, we're done. You got what you got, bro. Let's just relax at this point. Just be glad we have some food or some shit. Glad we didn't die during COVID. Stop thinking so hard. I can't stop thinking so hard, A-Man. I'm trying. But my bottle of magnesium theorate is empty. Now, listen, Alex Jones, we've got to heal. Because if we can heal this, man, I can work with your followers. If we heal this civil war. Now, I don't know what caused it, bro, but you heard me ask you what you thought about Israel. And I didn't conspire against you at Oracle Broadcasting. They conspired against me because I liked you. So, in my understanding, you, Clyde Lewis, David Icke, the Oracle Broadcasting Crew, Lee Rogers, Doug Owen, Freeman Fly. Shit. Down the line, man. Mike Rupert. Vinny Eastwood. 
my blue hair also, who you know because he confronted you in Austin with Antifa, or maybe outside of Antifa. Um, I've been blocked by Rob Jacobson for trying to hold him accountable. Uh, your wife seems loony as fuck. Uh, it's crazy, man. And then George Nori cuts me dry a half hour early. Then, then I'm like, what the fuck, man? This is like Alex Jones in Endgame. Alex, Alex, you remember Endgame? Was that real? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. It was real. It was real. It was real. Okay. You never... He was real. We're getting later on time, but you might be cool with drinking this with beer. And you know, I know you got the real chronic down there. I know you're holding out on me, bro. I know you're holding out on me, bro. My email is sorestorm333 at proton.me. Message me, bro. I, I'll get my own hotel. I'll stay with Leah. Forget it. I'm kidding. <laughs> never mind. Um... Freeman. No, Freeman's somewhere else. I don't know anyone in Austin, but I will stay in your fanciest owl hotel and I will do the ritual. I'm kidding, but I, I feel myself in Austin strongly soon and I don't want to do it in opposition to you. Would you welcome me down there if you had a rally and it wasn't just a Trump rally? What about an old school 9-11? How about, how about a rally that questions the next event blamed by Muslims? No, now you're asking too much, Alex. I'm nostalgic. I like the 80s and the 70s. I want to turn back time. Take it back. Do, 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 do. Well, that would be awesome. A little bit of punch drills with, with Alex Jones. Not being crazy. Not making Islamic jokes. Being normal. Is it possible for him to... You see... Folks, let's not look at the eclipse. And I still don't know what the Alex Jones conspiracy theories are about the eclipse. But, um... This is a time in which we're seeing massive crime waves and death. And I have predicted a lot of things that have come to pass. That the Coast to Coast audience should know about. That the Infowars.com audience should know about. I don't know if Alex questions the official story in Russia, but I did say on Coast to Coast that there would be an FF or a false flag before that event. Okay. Um, I'd like to make documentaries about the sun and war, the influence of the sun from a conspiracy perspective, and I'm willing to do that work where I'm at here. But I want to work with others. I'm not asking Bandot Video for anything. I want to be very clear about that. I'm not asking for anything. This is just a message to Jones going, bro, I'm sad. This is why. Because this is not, this is not the best of us. That's bold. It's not the best in you. It's not the best in Clyde Lewis. It's not the best in David Icke. It's not the best in Moss, Trump, on and on. We're like some derpy, dark, retard version of our true selves. This physical, earth plane, fallen world. Did you know I worked for Chris Green for four years? Do you know that guy treated me like an inward? No offense to you, inwards. And I don't mean inward like that. You know what I mean. I mean it with love. We're all, we're all in the dope show now. We're all in the dope show. Don't, 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 don't you know. I'll tell you, I was personally traumatized here in the inward when I lived off-grid, just so you know. Hearing my maniac neighbors fire their guns off in the air, screaming inward, inward, inward. Now, I was right about the evilness of the eclipse. Alex Jones, I was living like a man without a gun for years in Archuleta County, right up on, right up there in the hills, Aspen Springs 6. Take a look at, take a look at that area up there. It's wild. I'm not racist to white people, but I don't like guys that beat their women up. I don't know that you have a great rep. My dad is a bad rep, and I know that for a fact. There isn't any real history of men that hurt women that like me, and they're not going to. And that's what some men that aren't really like forthright about abuse towards women and women that like abuse aren't forthright about. That when men of God come into their field, they're just naturally going to dislike them. And the commonality with Ike, you, Mark Phillips, Mark Passio, others. Joel Scowls is the only one that appeared visibly relaxed. 
Estulin was also unrelaxed. You all are really, really um, squirmy in my physical presence. None of you, and when you watch Clyde's body language in old shows, you know he thinks I'm a dumb tart. And it's true. My speaking ability was very limited. And then for a temporary moment there, I fell into psychosis next to Alex Jones, so that people know. I was not my normal self. And I entered into a temporary psychosis where I said that InfoWars wasn't a site or InfoWars was using a site. And then he looked up at me like, say what? Say what? Man, this guy is special. Yeah, bro, you got 30 minutes and I got, I got to bail. Because at that point, I had not yet built my own truth magnetism. But now that I have built my own self-containing fusion mini sun, you understand what I'm saying? Now that I've got my own sun going, I don't listen to InfoWars. I don't listen to Clyde Lewis. I can't stand now the sound of um, the main host of Coast to Coast. Nor do I really think much of him, nor am I going to listen to anything from him again. Because the dude cut me off. Now, Alex Jones needs to continue to hear this, and I need to leave before an hour, or I'm going to start annoying folks, because I'm going to be asking him a bit much. But I know Alex watched the hardcore criticism in the past. Um... um I, I said that Alex Jones was right at the mall. I was triggered. They had the Patriot stuff. It was regarding 9-11 because I just psychically knew that they were a zombie bot. And I just want people to know it was because of Alex Jones that I got on this path. People are running around acting like this never happened. Like, he's, like I'm a liptard or a snowflake for saying that. That liptards and snowflakes or leftists or Portlanders, they hate that 9-11 shit. And, and those few 9-11 truthers that are Portlanders are unhinged to the max. Either flaming homosexuals or flaming anti-Semites or flaming retards or flaming wife beaters or flaming, like, uh, the other term that I used to use is Star Trek convention dorks, to be frank. 9-11 truth moot's important, but the types of people that used to come around the Portland, Oregon, 9-11 truth movement was a full cereal bowl of Fruit Loops. Straight up, psychopaths and a weird motherfucker named Richard who would come up and take pictures of everybody. This is like when the internet was new and like he may have been just like mental but he would come and I would snap and I, I start playing alpha and I'm like calling him out and later I end up like later I end up doing the wah 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 no 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 wah 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 no 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 to some person that was abnormally traumatized by that person so so greatly that any time his name came up like she started shaking like ptsd when i just started addressing like this freak and she's like never say my name never say my name like oh my god bro this is just too much goodbye man alex jones needs to interview alex answering about how fucked up portland oregon is and what we can do to mediate the situation if they lose their shit. Since Alex answer isn't in Portland and has nothing to do with anybody in Portland and nobody in Portland has anything to do with Alex. There's no female in Portland that loves Alex. There are some females who know of Alex and there's one that's observing my content that does the like once in a while. And she also mixed race, was around in the beginning. Who sent me the secret once and I'm like, fuck this shit, but hey, nobody's perfect. But are there principles to that that I would apply the power of the mind? And am I doing that now? Yes, and maybe a more with Christ manner than the law of attraction, just have anything you want. Alex Jones, Joey Gibson, your buddy, and who knows what happened between you two. But see, my phone out between you is almost non-existent. Now, when I rolled up in the Lone Star State during Occupied, did I attack you then? No, I had my picture taken with you and I filmed you and put online. But you may have heard behind the scenes that I was brought down there, you know, to do some, that guy I don't know, you wanna talk behind the scenes, we can. But I had nothing to do with his business plan. The dude was nuts, Mr. Moneybags. He wanted to replace you, but he didn't really have the intelligence to even like, 
fight his way out of a paper bag. He was very resistant to anything spiritual or godly. He wanted me to be a token brown person for a conservative MLM network. And so, Alex, I think that you should know about my experience in 2012. What I was doing there. Why I ended up almost killing myself with morphine in 2012. And why I was so fucked up, I couldn't even meet Ron Paul. When I came to that hellish place, which is your old stomping grounds, long time ago, that place is fucking hell. Your state is fucking hell, but there's insight I'd like to offer. There's insight I'd like to offer Oregon. There's insight I'd like to offer Washington State. There's insight I'd like to offer the people of California. And half for years, there's insight I've offered. Alex Jones, do you know that I stood up for white off graders in Costa County? We went, we went over that. Let's move on. You're willing to talk to Tyson. Okay, he's Muslim. You're willing to talk to Andrew Tate. Okay, he's Muslim. If you want to convince me that you're not racist, all you got to do is talk to me. I'm not Muslim. And I don't believe in some of the things that Andrew Tate and Mike Tyson do, and I don't have the same views on women. So what the audience and the women need to understand, and this, this is gonna be out there for a while, Alex Jones has the opportunity to respect the sacred masculine and feminine and answer if he wants to. Because you know he'll talk to a half black, half white Muslim. Some of you need to have a come to Jesus moment with this eclipse, with the real truth about the truth movement leaving me out to dry. People making shit up about me, me having the issue with Kyle Jacob Butler, me having the issue with Demon Bermeo at the Next News Network, me having the issue with Warcock who hated me, shutting the line off gritters and thought because of my heroin history from my child abuse that I was a part of the crime wave. He's right that there's a crime wave that is bad, that is a bunch of outsiders that are scum fucking bags. But those people are a threat to me too. Just because I want to live off grid didn't mean that I wanted everybody to live off grid that lives like that. Nor did anything that I ever say or did help anyone live that way. The people that want to live that way, the meth heads, they, just so you know, we this is in our video. The reason why off grid environments are being taken over by tweakers and low lives is because they've made it so hard that if you want to live in freedom, you got to go, fuck you, system. Shh, shh, come and take it. I'm a man. This is my land. You're not going to make me leave. Fuck you, bitch. Vince Edwards did that. Others I know did that. And they stayed out there. Doesn't mean that they didn't encounter some problems. Doesn't mean that I support their actions or QAnon, Trump worshiping politics. But the truth is, is if you make a stand and if you're willing to go that route and you got the cojones, you'd be amazed how these demons collapse faster than the Twin Towers. It's quite a bit interesting to see it happen over and over and over again. A black supremacist came at me today when I went to the hospital to see my sprained hand and I asked how long is it going to be? And she's looking at me like I'm the fucking devil. I know she... Not because she's black, but she's got the devil in her. She's just a devil woman with evil on her mind. And she's about to, like, you know, make a false claim about me. And I'm like, whoa. And I ask her her name. Then I go out to my car, and she walks out to look at me, come up, maybe get my license plate. Well, I get in my car, I take off, then I pull out the megaphone. It's in my vehicle. I am the only man that is megaphoning my region. I megaphone today warning about China and Russia. So how many things, I gotta wrap this up, how many things do I have to heal with Alex? I'm gonna talk about China and Russia and the threat of white supremacy to white people. He should join though. If he can't join those issues and encourage also people to discuss 9-11, that's suspicious. And there's a whole other thing about how Trump supporters need to take accountability for the fact there's a whole bunch of 9-11 truthers that joined in, got involved, that were following Alex Jones that went to Trump, that still appear under some trance that Trump represents some truth movement thing. I don't see any evidence of it. 
I need to see him being pro off grid. I was anti China, exposing China before him, but I think that we need to differentiate that between Chinese people. Because the China, China, China discussion, and even the Alex Jones, see, it's constructive feedback. I would say that Alex Jones also showed mild signs of possession too peeking out at 2019 2020 there were uh videotapes uh, of 300 clipped together showing death to america and i'm here to tell you right now what's trending afghan and death to america how many of you watching now identify with afghan in my audience one to two in your audience and others like zero now how many that are afghan though think about this think mcfly think mcfly how many Afghans do you know of that are media folks that come to mind when you think about hunt the Afghan, blame the Afghan, fuck the Afghan? When you think Afghan, what Afghan do you know that comes to mind? Let me just stand up for a minute and let you think about this. I mean, one that you may have known on YouTube and heard talk about the New World Order and that. Do you know of any? So, folks, when I tell you, Alex, I gotta go, but God wanted us to talk. You hurt me profoundly, including Trump and all your supporters. Whereas before he came on the scene, this fake news web, whoever brought it, the devil, you all were okay with coming on my show, and your audience was cool with me. And when I talked about the left or discrimination or shit, you never disliked me, you let me be me. And then one day it all changed. This change that happened I associate with Adia sent into the underworld. And I'm not yet convinced we're in the underworld. So, Alex, you ought to know. You ought to know. That, while you were an inspiration to me, you said you don't want to go to hell, but I still see you going to hell because I see you motivating the far-right extremists in the future regarding raping immigrants and killing children until you say let leave them alone unless they're real jihadis if you say everybody's jihadi that's coming over and they have kids like i think your rhetoric even puts my life in danger i totally believe that and i've sought help because of you specifically i have sought quote professional help specifically because of you in the world of mind control that you're building and the professional help that I sought laughed me out of the room and tried to get me to kill myself with drugs. And Alex, the man that did it, was a Muslim Paki. And so when it happened, I started to understand your side of the things, aspects of great replacement theory. However, here's where I draw the line. You want to say that shit, and I got to conclude and get out of here. Say that shit. But you have no right, your audience has no right to ever say that I don't have a right to live in your society. Whether we call it the future ethno state, I don't really don't want that. But to live in a society. You want to talk about Muslims and immigrants, fine. But don't then mix me in with that. When I say you being upset about them has infected me, affected me, you shouldn't get bent. Now, this is the true journal, and I'm going to be speaking for the half Anglo, half Afghani, half Arabic people that will be born. They will be reading my words in 100 years. Where do you see society viewing you in 100 years? It doesn't matter how much money you make in this world. Those riches you cannot take to heaven. This truth journal is profound souls like me are not commonly born period and a lot of you now take me for granted and you're the biggest like babies when i take off for three years and you just assume i'm dead a lot of you demonstrated that you had almost zero psychic abilities which was not what i expected i expected some of you to be a little bit further aligned so again like falling down when michael douglas is clear to the nazi 
I'm not like you. And he's like, I'm like you. He's like, I'm not like you. It's not like I'm calling you a Nazi, but I'm not like you. I'm, I'm against racism of all people and the left-right paradigm. And with you, there's many, 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 many pyramids upon pyramids upon pyramids. And that consciousness of confusion and hypocrisy and, and pointing both ways manifests in the thought forms of your audience when they come my way. The last thing is that you may or may not know that I aired Tear Storm on my channel recently. And the purpose was, before the event in Russia, to show that you did talk about these things long ago. So I am not at a line or a snowflake for discussing things that is traditional Alex Jones content. So this needs to be said, and this is my final message. <clears throat> Alex Hansery told the truth, continued to tell the truth, came to Jesus and did nothing wrong. Your boy Alex Jones and David Icke and Donald Trump and the Red Eyes Creations and Ground Zero and others. Different story. <clears throat>